So I have a really neat addition to my garage and my tools. Check this thing out. All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a AI robotic lawnmower. Who would have thought, man, in this day and age, wow, everything is automated. Just like the Tesla. This reminds me a lot of the Tesla, actually. But I searched high and low, and I looked at every single one out there on the market, and this one is the coolest by far. That's why I got it. So some of the things that uh, made me get it right off the bat, I had a landscaper, he was charging me about 150 bucks a month. Man, sometimes they didn't show up. Other times the grass was done terrible, ripped to bits. So this unit shows up every day. It cuts the grass. It does an amazing job without complaining and doesn't cost me a dime. Wait till you see this thing. I'm gonna share with you everything I like about it, all the reasons I chose to bring it in. And after all, I love cool tools. You guys know that. And this is one of my favorites now by far. I know I say that with every new thing I get, but right now I love this thing. Let's see it. You knew I was gonna put some spray protection on here. <laughs> of course I am, this thing looks insane. So for those of you that aren't in the detailing scene, why would I wanna put spray protection on this thing that's gonna sit outside? A, it's gonna put a hydrophobic coating on there, which repels water, makes dirt just peel right off later, making cleaning easier. It's gonna last three to four, sometimes even five, six weeks. So it's gonna give you good long protection. It's gonna make cleanups easy everything you can imagine to make this surface stay looking new longer, be easier to clean up, is all gonna come right out of that bottle. So let's get it spray protected, let's get it wiped down, and then let's see this thing in action. So for those tough to reach areas, just spray it directly onto the towel and then wipe it on. That's gonna be easier than spraying it all over the place. And of course, I'm gonna put some protection on those tires too, just to see how long it holds up, and I want them nice and black and looking good too. So now let's get into why did I choose the Luba over all the other options out there. First, this thing looks amazing. Look, here's a picture of the works Landroid. No. And then the Husqvarna version. Eh. That has nothing compared to this thing. Look at this beauty. Man, it looks like a Formula One car. That thing's sick. Next is the build quality. Wow, look at the internals on this thing. It's well thought out. It's built nice. I haven't had any problems with it. This thing will mow over an acre, so people with big yards, no problem. Four-wheel drive is going to get you up and down those steep hills. It says up to 37 degrees. I got a steep driveway, and it did it no problem. Another cool feature is it's fully controlled by an app, whether Bluetooth or over Wi-Fi. Either way, you're going to have full control of this unit no matter where you're at, anywhere, anytime. That's cool. Now let's talk about what really sets this machine apart from the others. It doesn't have any boundary wires. It's all GPS. So if you look at the way one works with a boundary wire, it's bouncing off and uh, back and forth across the boundary, across the wire, kind of like a Roomba. And it just eventually will just bounce around long enough until it cuts all the grass. But with a good GPS version, you can see it lays out a really good grid. It'll cut the perimeter. It'll come in and cut back and forth rows however you want them. And I'll tell you what, it's way more efficient it's way cooler. It'll do those tough zones where you have like maybe a tricky area that you're trying to access where this stuff, you know, with the boundary wires, that was what stopped me for years. I've been looking at these for a couple years now and I just couldn't get my head around putting boundary wires all over the property. So once the GPS models came out, 
I got interested. So let's get set up and get ready to mow. First, we have to build a zone. You drive the Luba around with your iPhone. It works like a joystick. You drive it around the perimeter, you build a zone, and from there it populates and it has all kinds of options, which I'll show you in a second. And I'll probably do a video later showing how to set all this up. But for now, let's just do a quick run through, get it set up and go. So there's a typical zone. It has a perimeter around it. It has a lines going back and forth that it's gonna follow. You can also go into the settings, change it however you wanna do it, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, it's infinite the way you wanna run your lines across. It's gonna make the stripe, so you can uh, plan it however you want. Plus 30, minus 30, plus 50. Once you're done, you hit mow, Luba pulls out of the garage, it goes out there and starts getting to work. How neat is that? First, it's gonna go around, it's gonna get on the perimeter, it's gonna drive all the way around by itself and cut a nice you know, circle pattern around your perimeter. Once it does the perimeter, it's gonna come onto the interior and it's gonna start going up and down the lines, however you programmed them, and it's gonna go back and forth, striping the grass nice. After it's done, it's gonna to go to the base station, it's gonna turn around, back in, get charged up and be ready for the next one. Look at it in that garage, that thing looks awesome. So another really big selling point on this particular model, because it's a totally controlled via the app over Bluetooth if you're local or Wi-Fi if you're away from home, you can also uh, schedule it to cut any time of the day, any time of the week, as many cut times as you want. And also you can terminate that schedule. So if you have it uh, scheduled to cut Monday, Wednesday, Friday, an example would be recently we had a hurricane offshore, which most of you probably heard about. Some strong winds knocked down some stuff in my yard. I was away on vacation. I saw it on my security camera. I went, um, I told the Luba no more cutting until I get back. It stayed in the garage and um, I came back, picked up the debris and was able to resume the schedule once I got back. That's cool. Now that we have it scheduled, it'll do on its particular time and day that you scheduled. It's going to go out, cut the grass, do a great job. No complaining. <laughs> and it'll come back and put itself away. I know what you're thinking. As good as this thing looks, and as much as it costs, that thing better have an alarm on it. And it claims it does. It does have an anti-theft protection system. I haven't tested it yet, but it says if you remove it from the property, it should alert me on my phone. It'll give a constant location where the device is at. Not only that, but it's rendered useless to anybody else. This is registered to me through my phone. Um, you basically can't use it without my permission. So, plus, I got that thing right there that guarantees this is not leaving the house. <laughs> the feature list on this machine never ends. I get it. I'm getting sick of saying them. But another really cool feature on this, it'll cut all the way down to 30 millimeters, which is just over an inch, and it'll go all the way up in like 70. So that's plenty tall enough for you people to have the longer grass that don't want to cut it down. And if you have turf grass like we have here in Hawaii and you want it to be like a golf course, you can slowly work your way down to the 30 and that's going to give you a one inch carpet out there and it's going to look manicured and killer. And that's one of the neat things about this machine. Now you can see here I'm plowing through some pretty deep grass and it's doing a decent job, but I kind of did this on purpose. I just wanted to see what it would do. And it's doing a good job. It's running up and down. I have it on the highest setting here at 70 millimeters and it's just taking the tops off the grass, making some nice stripes too. It'll just go back and forth, back and forth until you're sick of looking at it. It's kind of hypnotizing almost watching this thing. And there you see it just effortlessly doing its job. You can do a cross hatch pattern, especially on those early cuts when you're just trying to get the grass down. And then when it's finished, right back to bed. No complaining, nothing. So now that I got everything set up and I did a few cuts, I slowly lowered it from 70. I'm down to 45 now on the height. I'd like to get it down to 30 because that's what this grass thrives at is about an inch. So I wanna get it all the way down. There's gonna be some scalping, some browning, that's all right. But from now on, I'm just gonna be doing very slow incremental cuts throughout the next month or two. Try to get the grass looking like a carpet. 
So I had the machine for just a few days and then I had a trip planned with my wife and we took off for a while and I had Luba running by itself here. It's been about a month of me not messing with it. It just doing its automated cutting, except for the time that I had to discontinue it from the branches in the yard. But other than that, it's been running full time for a month. It's pretty dirty. Um, it's clean sitting here, but I've already filmed the other stuff. <laughs> We're gonna clean it up. Get it ready, and I wanna show you how good it turns out from all that protection we put on it. So I'm gonna drive it out there, put it on my outdoor bench that I made just to work on stuff, flip it over, and wow, look at that. After a month, there's hardly anything in there to really clean. Um, it's built really good, and I just use a brush and kinda of get the clippings out. I really didn't even have to do this, but kinda of wanna do it anyway. Now I'm gonna mix up some rinseless wash. For those of you that don't know what that is, that's a great way to spray on, wipe off product. It doesn't require any water to rinse off. So I'm gonna put it on liberally, just pile it on. I want that dirt to peel right off. You know, some people, you can use a hose on this machine, but I just don't wanna do that. It's, it's just not smart on electronics. So um, I used a rinseless wash, give it a good wipe. Gently, I don't want to scratch it all to crap, but um, I'm not too worried about it. This is a lawnmower. But you can see with the sealant that's on there with the rinseless wash, look at that dirt just flying off. Easy. All right, now that we got that all done, I'm going to come back in. Of course, I'm going to apply another uh, layer of sealant on it. Why not? Every time I wash it and get it clean, I'm going to seal it too. Uh, spread it around nice, flip the towel. Buff it to a nice shine, and boy, I can tell you, that is crazy slick right now. The second application on top of the last one just, just made it really slick. Hit those tires again, and wow, it looks like new. Look at that. It's almost like it's brand new out of the box, and that's the way I want to keep it. So after a month of ownership, what are my lessons learned? Inspect the area before you get all crazy and start running the mower. There could be rocks in the grass that are just going to tear the blades to bits. Be conservative with your perimeter layout until you get to know the machine. Leave a little buffer. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with these scrapes all over the machine. I tried to make it go super tight up to the border and it just didn't work out well. Expect browning from cutting deep. With time, it'll grow back thick and green, but when you first take a big deep cut into your grass, you're gonna cut all the green leaf off. Leave enough room in front of the garage. Don't try to put it in a position where it's gonna not have enough space to, to adequately get back into its place where it charges. The system has an RTK GPS repeater. This is how it can be so accurate, but you have to have a good line of sight from the RTK receiver to the satellites, and uh, then it's gonna transmit down to the, uh, to the Luba, and it's gonna give it that accuracy that we want. But if you try to tuck that thing in a, in a discreet spot, and it doesn't have good GPS signal, you're not gonna get the performance out of the GPS unit. Okay, after owning the machine for a month now, what are my final thoughts? I have some thoughts on this. A, it's one of the coolest toys I've ever had in terms of a working toy. Of course, I love my pressure washer. I talk about it all the time. My vacuum's insane. This is up there with that level. Now, you know, I watch it cut. My, I program it, I'm kind of into the tech. It reminds me of the Tesla. So all in all, I'm super happy with it. I plan on uh, revisiting this and coming back at a later date, let you know how I feel a few months down the road. But right now, absolutely trouble feet free, perfect grass cutting, no problems whatsoever. That's awesome. So my motion is a new company. They had a Kickstarter program. I don't even think it was more than six months ago. So this is all brand new. But the cool part with that is they're constantly trying to make the product better. It's had several updates in the short period of time that I've had it. And I suspect it's gonna be like the Tesla where they keep pumping updates out. Um, through the Wi-Fi that's gonna keep this thing, you know, progressing along, making it better and better. But with that being said, I haven't had to deal with customer service or, or anything like that. So I have no idea how all that goes with the company. I'm sure it's reasonable, but I don't have any experience with that whatsoever. Mine's worked great from the time I brought it in here. So that's all I can say about that. 
The next big question, is it worth it? These start at about $2,000 and go up for these GPS models. So that's a lot of money. Is it worth it? Well, I look at it like this. I was paying roughly 150 bucks per month to have someone come and all they did was cut the grass, run the weed eater, and, and believe me, it was a damn mess, man. That's what got me so motivated on this. Um, and at that point, it's about 15 months worth of not paying that guy and I got this. So if this lasts for 15 months, then I broke even and I'm happy about that. So yes, absolutely it's worth it. And it looks impeccable out there. I set it so it only runs maybe every other day and it takes maybe an eighth inch off the top of the grass out there. So there's not really any clippings, there's no mess. Um, man, it just does amazing. It's really maintenance free. I like that and the cool toy also. Another very good question, who is this for? Now, if you have a busy schedule and you don't wanna cut the grass and you don't wanna pay people, this is for you. If you have a small complex yard that the boundary wire is just not gonna work on the cheaper models, uh, meaning that you have a complex layout, no-go zones, it's gonna to be too much trouble to do it with the boundary wire, this is a must. That's where I'm at. My yard's not huge, but it has some complex areas that um, require the GPS to do it. So that works great. This thing will do over an acre. That is a huge piece of grass um, and it'll do it for free. It'll go until the battery gets low and then it goes to the charger, recharges, goes back out, cuts again, cuts again, cuts again, and just keeps on going nonstop. So that's neat. You have a big yard. This is going to be helpful. So anybody that can benefit from free mowing, once you pay that money, of course, <laughs> you're not going to get away without putting a little skin in the game. That's the bottom line on that. This could be for you. If you like cool toys, I love cool toys. You can tell. Look around. I mean, I, I'm always... I do the research, I look high and low, I find the toy that I think I would like, I watch 50 YouTube videos or do all any bit of homework I can do, get the product out here, and then I'm all happy about it. Ooh, I like it, I like it. <laughs> That's how I am. And then six months from now, it'll just do its job, I'll be on to something else. But if you're that type of person, you're really gonna like this thing really like it. All in all, this machine is going to keep your yard looking like a golf course. I guarantee it. I've had the turf grass for years and I could just tell in the short period of time that I've had this, it's doing a phenomenal job keeping it absolutely perfect. And over time, it's going to fill in, green in, and it's going to look really good out there with no effort for me whatsoever. That's neat. So this right here is definitely the future in lawn mowing. I know it, you know it, and it's so damn cool that I figured I'd bring it in, try it. Man, I'm gonna use this for many, many, many months. I have no intentions of ever cutting the grass again, <laughs> if I can help it. But uh, all in all, this machine, oh man, that gets to Jeremy, pound, fist pound. You know what? Oh, there's another one. I like this one a lot. If you haven't subscribed, consider hitting that button down there, join the team, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah!